Hello, fellow Bereans. Welcome to Berean Bible Journeys. And at Berean Bible Journeys, we use the Hebrew context in the original languages and verse mapping and word studies to pull the essence out of the word and them deeper meanings and elevate your Bible study. If you have never done a verse map, this is going to blow your mind. So I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. And here we go. All right, so first for your supplies, you just need notebook paper or graph paper. Um, either one is fine. Graph paper is great because it keeps you, keeps you organized and keep your line straight. Um, colored pens or pencils, um, a phone or your laptop with um, internet access, and we're going to be using specifically biblehub.com. And of course, you need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Um, the, I'm going to do this on my computer screen so that you don't have to read my sloppy handwriting, but I usually do mine just on paper. So, see. All right, so this is the verse we're going to do today. Acts 319, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Um, and I always like to do, before I do this, write down what your current understanding is of this verse. So to me, just at face value and what I've heard during my life, that means, hang on my timer. Um, you know, you confess and be saved so that your sins will be forgiven. That's what that verse kind of currently means to me. All right. So that, Okay, so what I have done here is I, I typed it really big on my computer screen. So you, on your piece of paper, just write it bigger um, and leave a lot of space in between the lines so that you have room to write in between there. All right, and what we're going to do, I am going to take you over to just my Google screen. All right, well, it's DuckDuckGo, but whatever. And what you need to do is you just need to type in your scripture, whichever scripture you want to do. Acts 319 is what we're doing today. And you want to search for that. When it pulls up here, see, you're going to find the one that says Bible Hub right here. All right. And just click on that. And this is going to bring up the verse in all of the different, or not all of them, but a ton of the um, different Bible translations. NIV, NLT, ESV, uh, there's Berean, King James, Good News Translation, Aramaic, God's Word, just tons of different ones. Um, and if you didn't get any farther, just reading the verses in some other translations will really help you um, with your understanding. All right, so we're going to take this verse and we are going to break it down now. So you want to, up here on the top, you want to find this little icon that says Greek because the uh, Old Testament was written in Hebrew and your New Testament was written in Greek originally. So you want to click on that Greek button and it is going to take us to just this verse broken down word by word. So here on the English side, we see what was translated to us. Repent, therefore, and turn again. All right, so we're going to start with each word. We're going to go back over here. I'm going to show you on your paper. Where is my paper? No, wrong one. Let me share my paper with you again. All right, so take your colored pen and make a box or a circle around the first word, repent. Okay, colored pens, this is where I cut colored pens helpful on this. All right, so we're just going to look at just that word, repent. So let's go back to our Bible Hub. And there beside that word repent, we've got the Strong's Concordance number of 3340. So just click on that number, just the number. And it's going to pull up met, metanao, meten, metanoel. Yeah. Say, so maybe. Um, and it says to change one's mind or purpose. Repent, change my mind, change the inner man with reference to acceptance of the will of God. Here we have it broken down into meta, changed after being with, and noeo, think, properly to think differently after, after a change of mind. Literally, think differently 
afterwards. All right. Um, that's about it on that one. So let's go back to your page where you've got your verse written out and you want to write that with your same color that you circled that word in and write your definition that you pulled out up here. So I wrote 33 metanao to change one's mind or purpose and the other part of it. You don't have to put the Strong's number and uh, the word, the original word up there, but it will help you later on. You'll find out that you recognize those words as you do this more and more. All right, now we wanna go back to our verse. All right, when you go back to Bible Hub, don't do anything fancy, just hit your back button on your browser. Otherwise, it'll, it'll take you all over the place. All right, and we're now doing the word therefore. All right, so click on your Strong's number over there. 3767, therefore, then. Um, by extension, I love this. By extension, it means here's how the dots connect, all right? So let's put that, because I like that phrase. Put that back on our on our Bible Hub page. I mean, our verse mapping page. So I put a green box around that so I could use a different color. And then there's my re uh, definition. Therefore, then, and so, by extension, here's how the dots connect. If you see the word ye in the middle, I put it in italics because it's not actually in the Greek. Um, so that word is added uh, by translators for um, ease of reading and whatever. All right, now the next word is going to be and. So let's go back and find our Bible hub. Remember, just get, hit your back button on your screen. And we have the word and. It's your Strong's number. And does and mean and? It does, but it also means also. And it means even and namely, indeed. All right. Also namely, I think it said down here it says, um, one of them says equivalent, equivalent to, there's so much in here. You could literally do this all, all day long. Just find all kinds of rabbit trails and run on them. I have, have done that. Down here on the bottom, it says Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, and it has a pretty good definition. And also both, but even for, if, or so. So pick out what's, um, what you're gonna add to your verse map there. So I put and even also namely equivalent to. All right, so now we have got the words be converted. Let's go back to our Bible Hub and find out which what's, what it says about that. All right, so it has used it here, turn again, all right, is what it was in that translation. So we've got the definition of to, to turn, to return. I turn back, I come to myself, turned around. You can see here it was translated in, in some other ways there. To cause to return, to bring back. Let's see what I used on that one. Go all the way down here to your Strong's exhaustive, exhaustive concordance. I can talk to revert literally, figuratively, or morally. I like that. Let's use that. So let's go back over here. Be converted is what we're working on. Return, turn back, turn oneself to revert literally, figuratively, or morally. All right, the next word we're working on is that. You can pause this if you need to at all, if you need to catch up. All right, we're working on the word that. Now it's translated as for on here, but that's okay. Let's look and see what the original language says. All right, we're on the word which is translated as that, but it, we have the definition is advantageous for, toward, denotes motion, toward a place. 
all right? Indicates extension toward a goal, all right? You just read over this and just see what, what gives you a better understanding of that word and helps you with your uh, word picture of what that word, that verse means. So let's go back. All right, so I put toward advantageous for literally moving toward a goal or destination. That's a that's a, a quite a bit bigger meaning than just that. All right, we're moving towards a goal here. All right, the next word is your. Uh, I won't take you back to that one because it was just you and yours. All right, and the next word is sins. I put it in red. Isn't that fun? All right, let's go back to our Bible Hub, hit your back browser button, and go back to, now you'll find sins down at the bottom here because their grammar, their grammatical structure is different than ours, so sometimes the sentences are coming in a different order. So we have the word sins, and it says, hamartia, properly missing the mark, a guilt, a sin, a fault, a failure loss because of not hitting the target, missing the mark. All right, let's go back and put that on our page. All right, sin, failure, missing the mark, loss or forfeiture because of not hitting the target. All right, maybe is those little words that are added in there as uh, just clarity. So we're gonna go on with the phrase blotted out. Let's see what that actually means in the original Greek. Blotting out, number 1813. And the word is exalifo. I wonder if that's where we get our word exfoliate. Because it means to wipe out, erase, obliterate. I plaster, wash over, um, holy out. Just keep on reading here. Remove totally from a previous state with the outcome of being blotted out. Look at this, originally meant to plaster, rub smooth, or whitewash. I love that one. Cancel, rubbing out a writing or a seal impression left on a wax tablet. Thus, exoflifo, I'm sorry, was used for canceling obligations or entitlements. All right, let's go back over here. Put that in our verse to wipe out, erase, obliterate, originally meant to plaster, rub smooth, or whitewash. All right, now you've got that all done. Now all, what we're gonna do is take the new expanded meanings that you have gotten from Bible Hub and Strong's and put those into the verse and then make a new expanded interpretation. So I have on mine, and it'll be different for everybody. We used to do, um, youth Bible studies and have all the youth do one verse and then everybody got something different out of the verse because the Bible is alive and it means different things to different people at times. Um, and so this one I got repent, change one's mind or purpose, think differently after, therefore, then. And so by extension, here's how the dots connect. And also even, even also namely equivalent to repent, be converted. Return, turn back, turn oneself to revert, literally, figuratively, or morally, so that advantageously you're moving toward a goal. Your sins, your failure, your missing the mark, your loss and forfeiture because of not hitting the target is blotted out, wiped out, erased, obliterated, plastered over, rubbed smooth, and whitewashed. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be whitewashed. I love it. All right, that is that. Um, if you go back to Bible Hub, the rest of that verse is not there in the Greek. I don't know why. I don't know where that came from. I'll have to go dig into that a little bit. Um, I wanted to show you, um, this is my book I wrote, A Sabbath Day's Journey, and this is literally a Bible study that you can do in your home. Um, a, a child can even follow along with this, or it's got enough meat in it for a, a studied adult to enjoy this. Um, it's available on Amazon as ebook or paperback. And then um, a few years ago, I also wrote This Is That, and it's a, um, another inductive Bible study into um, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, also available on Amazon. 
Um, please find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, MeWe, Parlor as Berean Bible Journeys. And thank you so much for joining me and we will see you soon.